you know, the work is so, you know, you, you, you try to be true and uh, uh, you feel sometimes it's on the verge of a kind of craziness, but it isn't really craziness. It's really uh, getting the truest part of yourself out, and it's very hard, you know. I mean, it's not easy, let's say. And yet it can be very simple at the same time. Um, being an artist, because sometimes you think, oh, well, all I have to be is true, but sometimes it doesn't come so easily. But I do want to be wonderful, you know. Yeah. When I walked out of 20th Century Fox and I went to New York and I stayed for, I don't know how many months, 15 months, 13 months, I don't know how many months, and the lawyer, you know, he said, um, uh, oh, he was telling me uh, about my tax deductions, my I don't know what, and about, oh, the lawyer for 20th Century Fox. I said, I don't know about that. I only know I want to be wonderful. Because <laughs> you say that to a corporation lawyer, he <laughs> thinks you're mad. <laughs> My favorite stars, then? Oh, I liked anybody who was good. Sometimes they'd be good, sometimes they wouldn't, you know, depend. Oh, well, that was when I was very small. That's when I was seven years old. Uh, when I was seven years old, my favorite was Jean Harlow. And the reason why she was my favorite, because she had white hair, and I had white hair. And they used to call me Toehead. I don't know how you'd say it in French, but it was white hair instead. And I dreamed of having having golden hair, but instead mine was white. <laughs> and so when she, she had white hair, I felt sort of um, close to her, because she had white hair, I had white hair. With honor and pride and pleasure, I present this citation to you. Thank you. I'd like to present to you the Look Achievement Award as the most outstanding feminine newcomer of 1952. Thank you, Lawrence. And as best young box office personality, Miss Marilyn Monroe. Thank you, Mr. Nixon. The glamorous bombshell of the currently showing Cinemascope production, How to Marry a Millionaire, and who soon will be seen in River of No Return, another Cinemascope triumph, is overwhelmed by her designation. Marilyn Monroe, it gives me the greatest pleasure to present the famous Photoplay Magazine Gold Medal Award as the selection of all of the moviegoers of America who have voted you the most popular actress of the year. My congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Sims. I want to thank the editors of Photoplay Magazine and all of the public. I thank you very much. It's a great thrill. And I'm very appreciative to everyone who has made this possible. Oh, Johnny Ray. Ah! Why are you, gentlemen? Okay, Marilyn. Thank you, Mr. Simons. It's a great thrill. And I'm very appreciative to all who is... Let's start again. Thank you, Mr. Okay, Simons. Thank you, Mr. Samus. It's a great thrill, and I'm very appreciative to all who have made this possible. A little impetuous. <laughs> Paula says. <laughs> Exclusive. I think I am, because I have very few friends. But not to be exclusive, it's just that uh, I like, although I, I like people, but for friends, I like few people. A few people, I guess you call it. Hmm.
I met him the year he retired. He had already retired. And uh, I saw him for about a year and a half, two years, and we married in San Francisco. Oh, by the way, I slept in a room with 27 beds because uh, they, they say some other number, I know, when I read it. Um, because you had to work your way to the honor bed. You start with one, or, well, really the 27th bed, and you had to work your way down and around, and, and then you could work yourself into the other dormitory, which had fewer beds, but... I got there once, but uh, once I was putting on my shoes, and the matron said, go downstairs, I'm tying my shoe. She says, back to the 27th bed. <laughs> 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 Hello. Mm -hmm. First time was at the orphanage, and then later in my teens, I stuttered, and I was, um, uh, they elected me secretary of the English class, no, secretary of the minutes of the English class, whatever you call it, and uh, then as the minutes of the last meeting, I like a moo mm, mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's terrible. When? Oh. I don't know. Let's see, I had the orphanage, and after I left, I guess, and then when I was about 13, I took it up again. <laughs> it just, I don't know it, uh, how it happened. I just stuttered. Sometimes if I'm... Uh, very nervous or excited or something, I stutter. In fact, one time they were doing a, uh, I had a small part in the movie, and the um, uh, assistant director came in and yelled at me. Oh, he talked awful. And he, and so I, uh, when, when I got into the scene, I, Instead of my life, I woo, 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 and the director came up, he was furious, he says, you don't stutter. I said, that's what you think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's painful. Oh, God. I think an artist, uh, artist, I consider myself becoming an artist, so you excuse me, some people will laugh. I don't apologize to you, but to them I apologize. <laughs> um, sometimes, you know, the work is so, you know, you, you, you try to be true, and uh, uh, you feel sometimes it's on the verge of a kind of craziness, but it isn't really craziness. It's really uh, getting the truest part of yourself out, and it's very hard, you know. I mean, it's not easy, let's say. And yet it can be very simple at the same time. Um, being an artist, because sometimes you think, oh, well, all I have to do is true, but sometimes it doesn't come so easily. Thank you.